Welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, let's understand how to perform administration of Pentaho BI. Suppose the users are using Pentaho BI so that is downloaded from pentaho.com. Just from the start button. In order to start Pentaho administration console, we'll have to first, there are two steps. First, start the Pentaho BI server, then start the Pentaho enterprise edition. So choose start. Here it is. So say so start BI server, click on that, then click on start enterprise console. Suppose you are using the Pentaho, which is downloaded from source first. This is the file for Pentaho BI server. So first let's open BI server.c. Here click on start Pentaho. Minimize this and go back to the administration file. Then click on Start PAC, Pentaho Administration Console. Wait for a while. So the command window gives us the IP address. So this is my IP address. Note down your IP address and let's log in through our IP address. For now, let's minimize all these command prompts. Let's open the web browser. I would enter my IP address here. HTTP. Okay. So this is the administration console. Enter your password and username. By default, it's admin and password. Password is password. So choose OK. Pentaho admin console is loading. So this is the welcome screen of Pentaho Admin Console Administration. Our server is set up and it's available. This is the home screen of Pentaho Administrator. Let's choose Administration. Okay, first now let's work with roles and users. Here we can delete the default roles. Just click on Maps uh, N2 to delete the default roles. Suppose you want to delete ease, ease role, so just click on minus or end. Okay, now let's add a role. Let's add back the same role. Then click on OK. Okay, so we get the new role. You can also edit these roles. Just edit the roles you want to and choose update. Okay, let's go up with users now. We can delete all default users and add all new users. Suppose we want to add we want to delete your user, then we can just Choose into minus, into or minus. We can as well edit these user password, confirmation, and description, and then choose on update. You can also add new users just by clicking plus. In database connection, we can see the database we're connected to. For example, in sample data. These are the informations of the sample data database connection. Suppose you want to add a new database connection, then just choose on plus sign. And mention all your details, then choose test and then click on OK. In services, we can refresh the solution repository. Then 
we can also schedule the content repository or we can so the action of scheduling the content repository is completed you click on ok here we can also refresh the bi server let's refresh the model and catch it so the action is complete let's click on ok So the modern cache is refreshed now. In schedulers, we can view all the schedules. We can also edit the schedules. Just click here on the schedule and choose edit schedule. We can also suspend the selected schedule or we can also run the selected schedule and also refresh the selection schedule list we can also create a new schedule and also filter by default values so in administration we can perform all administrative tasks like setting users and rules we can also check the database connections and add new database connections and in services, we can refresh, restore, schedule, execute all the repositories. We can also refresh the BI server settings. In schedule, uh, we can see all the list of schedules. We can add new schedules. We can delete the existing schedules or we can edit the scheduling list. So that completes the administration of Pentaho BIC. Visit further tutorials in order to understand Pentaho in detail. At the end, we'll have to We'll have to close the browser and go back to the file and click on stop Pentaho administration console. Then go back. Also, stop and the whole BI server. So that completes the tutorial. Further help, visit us at www.dataminingtools.com.